Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagar Song. This is the second part of a tutorial of how to use array adapter in Fragment in Android. In the previous one, we learned the basic of how to create a list view in the Fragment and then uh, how to create an array adapter in the Fragment attached to the list view and display the data uh, like that in the, on the screen, you know. But now in this uh, video, we want to continue. We want to send the data whenever you click on an item of the list and send to the second fragment on the right. Like you can see when you click on the window 10, then you will see window 10 on the right panel, right fragment. Okay, so let's go to Android. Okay, this is the project from my previous video about how to use array list in fragment in Android. You can find that in my channel. Okay, now we want to continue a little bit more. We want to have a detailed page over here. And then when you click here, you would see something over here. So remember, this is a fragment, so you don't have to open and reopen, you know. But one problem we have to fix first, you can see that. Now if you have rotate that, so you can see the screen here is very small. So we want uh, to have our application and the landscape side like that so to fix that you go to uh, android manifest here okay and here in the activity you just uh, enter type android colon uh, screen orientation here and then you choose landscape okay and let's see when you rotate like this Okay, you can see like that, the screen will be locked into the landscape mode. Even though you rotate uh, to anywhere, you still see the landscape mode, okay? So now you fix the problem and then you click on this, you want to see something over here. Okay, so let's create another layout for that. So go to content main here. So here is the constraint, but um, constraint a little bit uh, useful for the complex one, but here just um, very simple so maybe I want to change it to you know like just linear layout much better so just delete this and change to linear layout and linear layout here has a problem with the layout height so I should change to much parent the layout height and here um, you don't need this and another one and here, okay. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Om Sagar Song. This is the second part of a tutorial of how to use array adapter in Fragment in Android. In the previous one, we learned the basic of how to create a list view in the Fragment, and then uh, how to create an array adapter in the Fragment attached to the list view and display the data uh, like that in the, on the screen, you know. But now in this uh, video, we want to continue. We want to send the data whenever you click on an item of the list and send to the second fragment on the right. Like you can see when you click on the window 10, then you will see window 10 on the right panel, right fragment. Okay, so let's go to Android. Okay, this is the project from my previous video about how to use array list in fragment in Android. You can find that in my channel. Okay, now we want to continue a little bit more. We want to have a detailed page over here. And then when you click here, you would see something over here. So remember, this is a fragment, so you don't have to open and reopen, you know. But one problem we have to fix first, you can see that. Now if you have rotate that, so you can see the screen here is very small. So we want uh, to have our application and the landscape side like that. So to fix that, you go layout here, and you want this. You can display anything you want, but maybe the text is very simple one. It's okay. Now the text view, just give it a name. Maybe T V um, detail. You know, just something like that it should be fine. And then you go back to uh, sample fragment. Actually, it should be something like a list fragment 
know, but we uh, name it before sample fragment. And when you click, so you have to put uh, even click here. LV data set on item click listener. Okay, so be careful. Here is the item click, not the set on click listener. And then you can say new control space here. So here is where you uh, send the data from the list view to the detail. To get the data, it just use the position here. So remember, this is the array list, the data, and here is what you get when you click that. So usually, when you want to use with the inner class, you can uh, use uh, final like that. But you cannot create more. But usually, I uh, just uh, declare it outside like this. Then you can add, you can uh, do anything with the data now. Okay. Okay. So here, remember the data type of that is a string. So just call selected data, and then um, Aurelis is data dot get and position. Position is the click position. Okay. So now you can grab any data like. Let's say you click on Android, it uh, remember that it is the Android and it will send the data to this part. Okay, so to send the data, uh, very simple. Just first uh, create a detail fragment here. So, detail fragment, new detail fragment, and then you can attach the data uh, by set argument. And the data type for the argument is bundle. Yes, now bundle, bundle, new bundle, and then you can put the data here. So you can put string here and give a key and value. We use the key value pair. So now I just say selected um, data with the underscore, and then you can send the data here. You want to send a class. Um, you can do that, but it's gonna be a little bit complicated. Now I just use a very simple one like this, okay? And then put the bundle here. And after that, you can use uh, fragment manager. Manager, get fragment manager. Now you cannot use support anymore because you are inside the fragment. And then fragment begin transaction, and then you can replace. Now you replace with the detail, right? And then the detail fragment and commit. Okay, so anytime you click on that, you're gonna send the data and then open the fragment. And here in the detail, you can grab the data. But first, you want to put into the um, text box, right? So, make something like this. If you don't know how to do that, maybe uh, you can look for the detailed explanation in my channel about how to about how to grab an object from the layout. You know, like the text view button from the layout here into here. Okay. So now. Just create text view. And remember text view detail. Um, text view and view find view by ID. Now key detail. Okay. And to get the data, it's very easy. Just call get argument. Okay. And then the return type is bundle again. So now bundle. And you have to check if bundle is not now. Otherwise, you have the runtime error. Now bundle, get string here. Remember when we send the data, we send by the keyword, um, you know, selected data, the key selected data. So like this, okay. And actually, you have to test it again if it is not now or not, you know, because we want to protect um, the error and um, if it is not now then you can grab the data 
And now the TV detail here. You can just set text and then uh, bundle dot get free. And now it's really you want to get the data. Okay, so let's test it. Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. This is the second part of a tutorial of how to use array adapter in Fragment in Android. In the previous one, we learned the basic of how to create a list view in the Fragment and then uh, how to create an array adapter in the Fragment attached to the list view and display the data uh, like that in the, on the screen, you know. But now in this uh, video, we want to continue. We want to send the data